We move overseas and new developments this morning in the high stakes diplomatic dance between America and Russia over Syria's chemical weapons. Just before we came on the air, the Secretary of State John Kerry and his Russian counterpart held a news conference to announce a deal. ABC's Alex Marquardt is in Lebanon right now. Alex, walk us through this latest news. Good morning, Dan. That's right. Well, after three days of talks, Secretary of State John Kerry and Sergei Lavrov have come to a deal. They just outlined it moments ago, as you said, in Geneva. The first hurdle that they had to clear was agreeing on the size of Syria's chemical weapons stockpile. Now they're saying that within one week, Syria has to hand over a full inventory of its chemical arsenal. By November, chemical weapons inspectors must be allowed into the country. Syria has to agree that all of its chemical weapons will be destroyed. They have to be transferred over to international control by the middle of next year. Secretary Kerry said that if Assad fails to comply, it will go back to the United Nations Security Council, and that could mean a military reaction if Russia were allowed, uh, if Russia were to allow it through the Security Council. Secretary Kerry made it clear today that a diplomatic solution is pre preferable to a military one. Dan, Diana. So a potential breakthrough here, but uh, so many questions remain, including can you collect and destroy all of these chemical weapons in the middle of a civil war? Alex Marquardt, we appreciate your reporting this morning. And uh, a quick program note, George Stephanopoulos will have an exclusive interview with President Obama on the crisis in Syria tomorrow morning on ABC's This Week.